Astronaut Crew and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, so I am over here checking out some YouTube videos and stuff. And of course, I come across one video from Mash Foods. Uh, it is called The Unhealthiest Longhorn Menu Items. I'm looking like, ooh, I like to see what this is going on. Because pretty soon, they will be building a Longhorn Steakhouse here in Hawaii. And I was super psyched when I seen that coming. I'm looking like, oh, I got to go try this out. Yeah, guys, I never had Longhorn Steakhouse before. So this would be my absolute first time wondering what kind of food they got and stuff and um, I just need to know it's saying Longhorn's unhealthiest menu items I'm like okay let's see which ones I need to check out to see which ones I would like or avoid so let's let's, let's I'm, I'm not going to keep you going I'm, let's go on and check this video out come on let's go <laughs> Heading down to Longhorn Steakhouse anytime soon? Well, yeah, hold your horses, air, because I we've can. rustled up a few menu items that'll put a real dent in that diet. A porterhouse mm. is a cut taken from the area of the cow where the tenderloin and top loin meet. This cut is notorious for its large size, and the Longhorn version doesn't disappoint in that regard. Sitting at a whopping 22 ounces, the Longhorn whopping Porterhouse entree ounces. is the largest steak whopping. to be found on the company's menu. Whopping. Grilled over a fire to create an unforgettable smoky taste, this slab of beef wins some major points for flavor. Our number one competitive advantage is grilling expertise. Perfectly grilling steaks is what we do. But from a nutritional standpoint, it barely makes the scoreboard. This massive steak contains 1,280 calories, 2,450 milligrams of sodium, and what? 67 grams of fat. And these stats are just for the steak alone. Add in the size, Yikes. which can range anywhere from an extra 220 to 860 calories, and you've got a meal heavy enough to satisfy an adult's caloric needs for an entire day. In addition, since red meat contains a slew of saturated fat, the sheer size of this steak alone may make it a poor choice for those at risk of heart disease and other related oh, man, conditions. All in all, steak fans will have to decide if this mega-sized entree Jeez. is worth the potential downsides. Chicken is generally considered to be a lighter, lower-calorie meat than beef. This yeah. means that it's commonly enjoyed by those trying to cut back on their red meat intake, or by those taking part in diets for weight loss. So you might mm -hmm. think you've found a leaner option when you come across the Longhorns Parmesan Crusted Chicken Entree, which comes in both 9-ounce and 12-ounce plate sizes. The yeah, dish is made up size. of garlicky Parmesan Crusted Chicken and comes alongside a salad and choice of side dish. While this may not sound too nefarious at first glance, the overall calorie count stands at over 1,120 for the 12-ounce plate option. This becomes all the more worrying when you consider the fact that 12 ounces of plain chicken breast is only around 300 calories. This suggests that the Parmesan breading is the cause of that high calorie count. Wow. Keep in mind that this number doesn't include sides either. Depending on which option you select to accompany your entree, the overall number of calories will go up by a decent amount. The total Ooh. fat and Sodium is worth noting, too. At 36 grams of fat and 1,860 milligrams of sodium for the 12 ounces of chicken alone. In summary, this one may not quite be the light poultry entree you originally envisioned. Man. It comes with numerous health benefits, such as a high amount of protein per serving, omega-3s, calcium, and choline. They also contain a good amount of nutrients that you might not find in many other foods, such as iodine. However, those innocent little shrimp can quickly become calorie or sodium bombs, depending oh, man, on how they are prepared. Grilled shrimp free from breading, for example, will naturally be lower in overall calories and salt than breaded shrimp fried in oil. So if that mm -hmm. kind of thing bothers you, then you may want to consider how your shrimp were prepared before you place your order. Longhorn's celebrated take on shrimp is sadly not the lightest seafood appetizer you'll find in the sea. The Wild West shrimp are fried, served on a large platter, and topped with a mixture of seasoned cherry pepper and garlic butter. Sounds In good. particular, you might want to steer Sounds clear really of this good. one if you're watching your salt intake. The Wild West Shrimp comes with a whopping, almost unbelievable, 3,740 milligrams of sodium, far exceeding an adult's recommended daily intake of less than 2,300 per day. Considering this wow. is only the appetizer round, you'll tack on even more when your actual meal makes it to the table. Okay, Additionally, so the platter comes in at a rather hefty 970 calories. 
pork wow. ribs aren't exactly known for being healthy, so this next menu item may not come as too much of a shock. Baby back ribs, sometimes also referred to as pork back ribs, are taken from the upper part of a pig's we'll back and are celebrated for their tenderness and flavor. The baby back ribs entree at Longhorn is available in either a half rack or full rack portion size and comes slathered with the company's signature sweet and savory barbecue sauce after being grilled mm -hmm. over an open fire. Sounds, Sounds satisfying, good. right? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. But if you're dieting, you may just want to skip right over this one. A full rack of Longhorn's ribs comes in at over 1,600 calories, more than 100 mm. grams of fat, and over 1,400 milligrams of sodium. And that doesn't even include the barbecue sauce drizzled liberally on top, or the side oh. and salad that come with the meal. Bringing so all good, of these elements together could very so well put some adults over their oh target God. calories for an entire day. <laughs> How comfortable you are with this scenario is up to you, and will likely depend heavily on just how much you love those baby back ribs. Step aside, Bloomin' Onion! There's another fried onion appetizer in town! Introducing the Texas Tunyon from Longhorn Steakhouse, a plate of sliced, deep-fried onion petals Sounds finished good. off by a sprinkle of the company's very own in-house prairie dust seasoning. Sounds but before really you rush out to Longhorn to right. sample these mouth-watering morsels, ah. you might want to take a look at the nutritional stats. The Texas Tunyon plate comes with a shocking 1,180 calories, which will no doubt Just rise if you choose to dip your pieces into the zesty sauce that comes on the side. It also contains 2,720 milligrams of sodium. This is well over Whoa. the dietary guidelines for Americans' recommendation of 2,300 milligrams or less per day in one shot. And it's just a modest-sized appetizer, too. While an overload of sodium in the short term wow. can cause excessive thirst, bloating, and other uncomfortable symptoms, wow. taking in too much consistently can put consumers at risk for high blood pressure, that stroke, is definitely and a heart share. disease. Like three or four is pieces. any steakhouse dinner plate oh, complete without a baked, baked potato, potato on the side? Potatoes. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, Love stick them in a some potatoes. Indeed, the baked potato has become a coveted staple for steak fans all oh, over the world. So this is especially true when that potato is loaded up with delicious toppings. And in the case of the Longhorn Steakhouse mm. version, the finishing touches mm. are certainly added liberally. Mm. The loaded baked potato side comes topped with a generous spoonful of cool sour cream, salty bacon bits, cheese, butter, and green onions, as it and this should. savory snack tastes every bit as delectable as it sounds. Mm. Sadly, the uh. Longhorn potato may not make the rest of your body quite as happy as Why it not? makes your taste buds. This single spud, which varies between 290 to 470 calories depending on the number of toppings, okay. comes with over a day's worth of an adult's <laughs> recommended sodium intake right off the bat. Holy and when the smokes. sodium content <laughs> of the main entree is also factored in, your total number has the potential to grow further. This could potentially pose a serious serious problem for those following a low-sodium diet for health concerns. So take it into account when selecting your sides during your next meal oh at Longhorn. Corn on. is thought to have its origins in Mexico and North America, but in today's corn? modern world, its reach is hardly limited to one location. Different versions of this sweet golden vegetable can be found everywhere, including, of course, Longhorn Steakhouse. Roasted over a flame until rendered slightly smoky, Longhorn's whole fire grilled corn on the cob side dish is topped with a signature sauce before being finished off with a generous topping of parmesan and herbs. Sounds it good. sure sounds like an upgrade to your run-of-the-mill boiled cob, doesn't it? While this may be true as far as taste goes, when it comes to nutrition, Longhorn's version of this savory side is actually a huge downgrade. The dish comes in at 200 calories total, a relatively modest number in and of itself. God However, when you consider that a, a standard ear of medium-sized plain boiled corn contains around 88 calories on average, it Does? becomes clear that all the delicious additives oh, shoot, have seriously have amped up the calorie count, I mean, making for a much heavier it. take on this healthy classic. In addition, it appears many of these extra heavier. calories come from fat. <laughs> the fire-grilled cob has around 9 grams of it, while a plain ear contains just over 1 in total. It just goes to show that looks can be deceiving, even when it comes to steakhouse sides. Who doesn't love a hefty dose of cheese every now and then? I can't ignore the cheese! Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I can't stand mac and cheese, y'all knew it, that. Though, macaroni no. and cheese is about as indulgent as food about gets. With this all that cheese, all that pasta, all. and whatever you want to throw on top. It's no. fair to say that nobody chows down on this stuff to save calories. And sure, there I are some lighter takes on, on this cheesy, carbohydrate-heavy classic out there. But for yeah. the most part, mac and cheese isn't known for being diet-friendly. And the Longhorn Steakhouse and version 
and away. extra creamy baked macaroni covered in a layer of crispy parmesan and bacon bits more than lives up to the stereotype. While undeniably delicious, Longhorn's signature steakhouse mac and cheese side dish comes at a high fat price. 37 grams lurk within this steaming, modest-sized bowl, along with 1,210 milligrams of sodium and 610 I'm calories. Glad I don't Since eat this that item stuff. will most likely wow. be ordered only as an accompaniment to the main course, selecting mm. it as a side of choice will damage the nutritional value of your meal significantly. Still, everyone's nutritional needs vary. If higher fat, higher calorie meals is something you're striving for, then Longhorn's mac and cheese may very well fit the bill. Uh. It goes without saying that desserts tend to contain Ooh. a lot of sugar, and most of us eat them knowing full well that we're hitting or exceeding our sugar intake for the day. That's yeah. kind of the point after all. But what many people don't consider is that many sweet desserts actually mm. come with other That's less so attractive good. nutritional stats as well, such as a high sodium or fat count. This is the case with one of Longhorn Steakhouse's most popular desserts. Oh. Its signature, the cheesecake. Oh. An originally flavored cheesecake with a graham cracker crust covered in a generous layer of whipped cream and so finished good. off with drizzled liquid caramel and pecans, this treat oh. certainly brings all the sugar you'd expect to the table. However, it also oh. boasts some other unattractive nutritional elements. You can expect mm. to consume a whopping 1,520 calories when eating this Holy one, as well as an smokes. unbelievable 93 grams of fat Holy and 920 smokes. milligrams of sodium. All oh. this in a little slice of cake? Proceed as you see fit. What? What would you call a dessert that includes oh multiple different types of chocolate so jumbled together deliciously oh on a so plate? A Dang. chocolate stampede, of course. Oh Longhorn Steakhouse's chocolate oh stampede God. is a last oh, course worthy of its name. This massive dessert is made up of oh two man. unbelievably thick slices of rich cake and six different types of chocolate. Oh, it's I've finished off with that. chocolate shavings, chocolate oh, drizzle, and a few that. mounds of whipped cream and vanilla ice cream. Oh, it's so big, in fact. Even the website outlines oh, that a family effort open. may be needed to finish the entire plate. As you might expect, a dessert oh. this big comes with a seriously shocking number of calories, 2,460 <laughs> to be exact. This Yikes. is more than many adults require in an entire day. In addition, there are around 132 total grams of fat as well as 1,040 milligrams worth of sodium. If you're sharing with a few people at your table, these stats can be reduced, some per person. But the chocolate stampede is still what? guaranteed to pack a punch when it comes to your diet. Still, we all know that saying about moderation. If you've been looking forward to your dinner at Longhorn for some time and you find yourself what? craving a little chocolate, nobody will judge you for ending your evening with this unforgettable so finish. Oh my god, it looks so good, though. Oh, man. Yeah, that looks good. I don't care. That that last one, that still looks good. I I just might indulge in that when I go to Longhorn Steakhouse when they open here in Hawaii. Yeah, I know it's going to be probably so much calories and so much sugar, but it got to get done. It has to be done in my belly. Heck yeah. Well, if y'all want to see me order that, comment, let me know. What do you think I should order from Longhorn Steakhouse for my first time ever going? You know, I would like to know what y'all think I should order. And I will listen to your comments, okay? Trust me. Believe me on that. I will listen to your comments, okay? But I need to know what do y'all think. And if y'all like how I did this video right here, also, go on, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, share the video. Get me out there, okay, guys? Let me know what y'all think and everything, okay? Come on. Because, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to try this food out. Except the mac and cheese. You, you, you can say I'm not going to try that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Blech. So until next time, until next video, Lord willing, peace. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.